During this leg 3, we never really had strong conditions. The massive low pressure we've been riding for almost 10 days gave us sustained conditions with winds around 45 knots, going up to 65 in the squalls, but not much more. Same for the sea state, which never gave us more than 6 to 7 meters swell. The most particular thing of that leg is that we almost never got downwind conditions. We sailed all the time on a fine ridge to a beam ridge, which at best was uncomfortable, but not as fast as a good downwind with big surfing conditions. But because of the breaking waves, it was a wet ride for sure. Stop, is this true? It's completely true. I have great evidence. And uh, how many packets have you gone through today? This is our bobby number three. Huh? Jesse, could you please explain what it is you're doing there? Um, Why is it so annoying? I'm emptying the sink because we're on a pork cut and the sink really needs two plug holes. <laughs> two plug holes? Yeah. <laughs> so simple, wow. Yeah, just so we can actually drain it. Great idea. Yep. <laughs> yeah, at the helm, I've taught him everything he knows. Uh, let's see how he goes. We are 700 miles from Fremantle, and here's Mark doing the log. Hey Mark, how's the log going? G'day mate, just uh, filling in the log here. It's kind of all right. Hey Ned Kelly, do you reckon? Ned Kelly. How was your day Mark, apart from Josh's uh, accent? These accents are pretty good. Uh, yeah, it was a lovely sunny day. Uh, Finally, after yeah, nine after days. Eleven. How many miles Eleven did you days. Do on the same tank? Same. Why did you have a good day, apart from the accent? Um, <laughs> why did I have a good day? It's gone to my shorts. Oh, good job. And so, let me go to the highlight. I had a shower. It was oh, yeah. Awesome. This is the boat CCTV, by the way. They just installed it and it's really cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see it's got as far as here, that's why I'm asking. I hope these images. Oh, look, this, bit, this part of it hasn't even been opened. Let's see, but this bit has been told. It's because there's images. Yeah, yeah. Read the pictures. Flood boat is a much happier boat. Isn't it, Jamie? So true. So true. You had a good day, mate. It is the best day. <laughs> Sun's out, gun's out. <laughs> yeah, the best day. First day of the month. 
Bapak <laughs> Now, now we know, getting ideas for how to spend the money. <laughs> Right, it's been 16 days racing and we are 500 miles from Australia, roughly 5 or 600 miles from Australia. We're supposed to have light conditions like this for the next two days. Um, it's actually good, we're supposed to be in a big wind hole and we're actually moving, so that's good. And uh, yeah, we raced 4,500 miles so far, 16 days at sea, we had lots of different weather conditions and stuff. And just behind us, about half an hour ago, popped a uh, chill out. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty close racing, imagine, after 16 days at sea, uh, being within a few miles from your competitor, it's pretty, pretty impressive. So, so far we first, but yeah, by just this much, and Chris on Chindao, the skipper, is really good at like my tracing, which we're not really, but you know, give it a try. Keep pushing, keep what we've been doing since the beginning uh, of this race. It worked, so hopefully, yeah, we managed to uh, keep this gap going for the next 500 miles and, uh, and maybe win this race. That would be bloody amazing. But now let's keep our eyes on the ball and, uh, and keep, keep racing. Grind on top leap and grind on main, please. Okay, hold topping lift. Okay, hold main. Is Halyut. Alright, and time, the rest of you come here and try to, to get the settle deck. As the wind got lighter and lighter, we took the opportunity to drop our main sail on deck to replace a button which had broken two days earlier. Alright, so we can open the button pocket. What about your fingers? Huh? The, the fiberglass is like needles. And run on me. So here we have the most southern barber shop in town. Yeah, <laughs> the most remote barber shop you can ever find. <laughs> <laughs> no. But the best thing is, if you get a bad haircut, no one's gonna know. <laughs> oh shit, huh? What are you going for? I ain't going for nothing. <laughs> I don't trust him. Not a chance. And if I had seen that bird inside you teaching you how to fly from a hand to another, but tell me, would I be willing to let you go? And if that voice when that nights every night before I sleep, would it be that hard to accept the signs when you're missing what I'm dreaming but I know and we all know that we're scratching time with our maze and it's hurting my hands now so it's been low the last few days and today it's even better it's raining 200 miles from arrival it's pouring rain light winds when we should have 20 knots we have barely 10 7 Happy birthday! 
Hey boss! Oh, it's gonna be sunny, it's gonna be sunny for my watch. It's raining for Hugo's watch and then uh, it clears up so it could be it could be worse. Um, Australia is that way. That way. That way. About that way. <laughs> Here we go. Go, go, go. And Korea is somewhere over there. Qingdao is somewhere over there. But they might have no wind at some point. Yeah, yeah. It cannot be only us. I hope so. Go. What's happening? Is there a kids party today? Yes, that's three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it's interesting. Yes, it is. It's, I mean, um, shabby chic. Bared on the heel angle, that's pretty good. We lost some of the icing. Oh though, yeah. It's a shame, but we'll patch it up just beforehand. <laughs> Great job. Nice. Happy birthday. <laughs> Uh, we just did a handover, I mean, Hugo is driving the bus. So. That's the closest single-ended sailing that I've done in a while. I like it. Uh, right, so we're doing 0 three, five, is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, it's 0 three, five, no ground. Uh, we get a new weather forecast in two hours, so we'll make some decisions from there. Uh, we should hopefully keep the wind for the longest. Okay. So, yeah, everyone cross your fingers. Um, Helm, 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 trim, trim, trim. Yeah. Let's see, let's see where we end up. Very good, very good. So. On a different note, do you skip? We have a few presents for you. Thank From to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can, I can finish the last one. Oh, oh no! Oh, <laughs> to the king! <laughs> so, so, to the wettest worst cake in the world. Two candles. Thank you. Thank you. They would like some sea cake. <laughs>
In the last dozen miles to the finish line, we did not manage to reel in Qingdao and the few miles lead they had managed to gain over the last 48 hours. And even if Korea was closing on our heels at a scary pace, pushed by the wind feeling from behind, we managed to hold our position. So we crossed the line in second place, half an hour behind our main competitor. But we were far from disappointed. Even if we had been leading most of this race, we managed to secure a podium, and this was the real target of that leg. Because since we had played our joker, we had to mark as high as possible. Coming in second position gave us 10 points, doubled by our joker, so 20. We then passed second overall of the race. The game changed from that point onward. We had to keep chasing the first, Qingdao, and not be caught up by the rest of the fleet. Stay posted to find out about the coming leg, riding the south of Tasmania and up the east Australian coast.